this video, we're going to take a look at how you can get Smart Table Activity Packs or lessons to download on your computer and then transfer over to your Smart Table for the students to use. So here I am on the Smart Exchange. If you're not familiar with it, it's exchange.smarttech.com, two T's. And when you get here, you do need to sign up to be a member to download lessons. You don't need to be a member to browse, but you do need to be a member to download. So here I am on the Smart Exchange, and there's a couple of different ways that you can search. The first way I'm going to search is just by searching by topic. So I'm going to search alphabet. And when I do that, it will be populated everything on the Smart Exchange that has to do with the alphabet. So I can see that my first hit actually is an image. So if you look in brackets next to the title, you can see what type of file has been populated. So I only want to see the Smart Table lessons or activity packs. So over here on the left hand side says narrow results. So I want to come here and click Smart Table activity packs and there are 97 of them. So there's a couple of different ways you can now filter this. I can sort by best match, which is the default, or I can sort by newest first. When I do that, I might see some lessons that have an HD symbol at the top right hand side. Those, that is a symbol there for high definition. And this is optimized for the new smart table that's new in the fall of 2013. And this will allow you to have high definition videos and pictures from these lessons for the new table. So it'll look really terrific. You can also sort by most downloads or most recommended. So it depends on how you'd like to sort things out. You do have the option to click to preview and sometimes you'll be taken to a YouTube video that will show you the lesson at hand and what the students would need to do and sometimes it'll just end up being a series of pictures that will show you what the lesson's all about. In this case it's just one photo. Let's say you decide that this is a lesson you would like to download. Uh, let's say I want the letter A. You click the download button and if you're already signed in it'll automatically start. Depending on what internet browser you're using, different things will happen. I happen to be using Safari on my Mac, so I see a little downloads uh, drop down arrow and it shows me the stuff that's recently been downloaded. For the most part, your downloads are going to go into a downloads folder. Um, different internet browsers do different things, but for the most part, Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, they're all going to populate these things into a downloads folder. Some uh, internet browsers like Internet Explorer give you an option as to where you'd like to save things. But in this case it went into my downloads folder. And where you take it from here is up to you and that's your file management that you might need to take a look at. So there's a lesson that I downloaded ready to go in the downloads folder. We're going to come back and take a look at those later. So that's how easy it can be just to download a lesson. But another way to search, if I just click my home button here, my other option is a browse by. And so here it's defaulted to browse by subject at the front. You can browse by grade, but you can also browse by file type. And the lessons themselves are these smart table activity packs, as I mentioned. There's also smart table applications on here. And those are each of the little circles in the activity packs are called the smart table applications. So if you look at a smart table application, that's just going to be one little circle on your lesson that you can bring in. And it's content that you can't change for your students or what I call not customizable. So I usually recommend for beginners to start off with the smart table activity packs which are the lessons of which there are over 1500 right now in the fall of 2013. So again I have options to sort by best match or newest first, most downloads, and most recommended. And the lessons are written by teachers or third-party publishers, educators at SMART, so lots of different people contributing. I'm going to download this one that says country versus city and this is one that I can now bring in to my smart table. If I know this is the lesson that I want and I don't want to make any changes for my students, I can take the smart table content, which you'll know it's a smart table lesson because it will look green and it'll say dot table content. And I can just put it onto a USB stick and then plug the USB stick into my table 
and open up the lesson. And I have another YouTube video that talks about student mode versus teacher mode using your USB. If you want to take a look at the lesson first, you can download the Smart Table Toolkit from the Smart Exchange. And I double clicked on my letter A lesson and it opened it up in the Smart Table Toolkit. And this is what it looks like. So I can see here that this particular lesson has three different applications. It has the media, the paint, and the multiple choice applications. Across the top of my Smart Table Toolkit, I can see each one of these apps individually and I can make changes or edits here. I can also have a look to see what this is going to look like on my smart table and to do that all I have to do is from my home button let's say I want to preview what the media app is going to look like for the students I click media and I come down to the bottom right hand side and I click preview this will open up a web browser for me and give me a preview and literally show me what it's going to look like for the students. In this case, it says make two uppercase and two lowercase a's. So this is a really cool lesson for media that you're going to be able to have the students come up and interact with these different pieces to make uppercases and lowercases. So you can move your mouse around to have a feeling of what it's going to feel like for the students on the table, which is kind of cool. And when you're done with your preview, you can just close that internet browser and come back to your toolkit to preview the next application. So if I wanted to preview multiple choice, I would click on that tab. I'd come way down to the bottom right hand side, click preview. And here again is my table. So which letter is A? And the students have the options here, obviously, to drag the correct answer into the middle. So this is nice if you are working away from your table or working at home, looking at table content lesson for your students, that you have the option to see what the content is going to look like and if you feel like it makes some changes in the table toolkit so that it works well for your students. And this is how you can do a quick preview and download content from the Smart Exchange.